dance and now boxing training. Sam the man Davis or on Instagram, what is it, Sam? Hot with the hands. Hot with the hands. Right. Welcome, Sam. Thank you, pleasure. Man, talk to me about your journey. All you've been through and you're here today. Uh, training, fighting, dancing on Instagram. Uh, man, first of all, uh, you know, they both my two major, major talent, boxing and then dancing. Well, I took dancing and pushed me. Then I had a rough shot up, like, in and out of jail. Mm -hmm. Came home and turned pro. I missed, oh. my, missed my shoulder. Mm -hmm. the cup. So I gave up, let myself down, gave 180 pounds. Oh, man. Sam, but you're a lightweight. Yeah. I finally 135. Right. I pushed pro, uh, pro debut. That's my, my week, 135. Mm -hmm. So now, I see the wet one day. So I'm saying, get up. I get up and start running. Got the weight on me. See the wet. It's going too late. So I'm start training people. Mm -hmm. And I start training people. My whole life has changed, man. I was like, I got better with my craft. Mm -hmm. I mean, still learning. And now I mean, just let it get back to the community and get back to the fighters. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The one thing I respect is a fighter. Right. Once that four, once that four quarter ring, mm -hmm. they like on line any second. Right. You know what I'm saying, and they family, they trainers. Right. Everybody pay a big part, a big part in that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And one thing about this game is about loyalty. Right. If you don't have loyalty, it's not wrong. You're touching a sensitive topic. You're talking about loyalty. I'm just joking, man. Yes. But um, you're over James Schuler Memorial Gym. Yes. Talk to me about your schedule, man. I see you with a whole bunch of clients. You got guys. You got ladies, you got kids, you got adults, you got everybody. Yes, man, you know, just the passion, man. I let smell the <laughs> let smell the gym. I let see smile on kids' faces mm -hmm. and adult faces to show that, like, I'm doing something to help them. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's a change for me, and I'm trying to change them too. I'm trying to change them. Yes. Talk to me about the break dancing, man. I, I've been following you on Instagram. Uh, I mean, I see you do all the moves, you're a former break dancer. How did you get involved with it? Uh, well, my mom. Okay, they're going to touch on that because I saw the video with my yes. dancing. Well, I used to sit back and watch my mom feet. I was like eight, nine years old. I used to watch her. Like, she's a dance, but she's there to old music. I used to hate old music. I'm like, they ain't making sense. But as I got older, I understand that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now, so I'm watching them, and I start getting better. My favorite guy, man, my favorite person I look up to, my idol, Michael Jackson. Oh, man. So I used to mimic him. In the mirror, I used to cry watching watch him dance. So I used to mimic him. I got better and better. I started doing the street dancing, and everybody know me for dancing sand. I just go to party, dollar party, and turn them out. Man, I see you on Instagram, man, and you still break dancing, doing all the moves. I'm 40 years old, too. Yeah, and I, I saw a video of you on Instagram last week. And you, what's your mom's name? The Crazy Davis. Okay. I saw Miss Davis. How old is your mom? 71. I saw Miss Davis, 71 years old, out dancing sand. You, hey. should be, you should be ashamed of yourself. I am. She mom out there. She told me. Hey, I'm not supposed to. Hey, legends. I mean, you can't be legend. Legends been in already. So we just follow me. But, but you guys had so much fun, man. Remind me of me and my grandma in Jamaica dancing. Yes. And I just saw the love that mom is having fun. Mom can dance. A lot of dancing started from Jamaica. Okay. You know what I'm saying? People that don't dance now, it's, it's all that stuff starts over there, bro. Mm -hmm. We just second get it. That's all. You know we're in the studio owned by Frank Montgomery. And, and Frank's Jamaican because his mom's Jamaican. Oh, yeah. Frank Montgomery, good, good guy. Great fighter, too. I respect him, too. All day long. And I appreciate him for letting me come here. And I appreciate you for letting me come here. Mm -hmm. Give me the honor to come here. Do my interview. But, but Frank, I, I couldn't pass it up, man. After seeing all the work you're doing with the kids. Yes. All the work you're doing over Shula with the kids. And you having so much fun training fighters, training adults. Yes. And all the dancing, man. You're just a happy person. What, what keeps you so happy, man? Oh, uh, man. Life. Life. Okay. And the struggle I went through, because I'm here now. Mm -hmm. So, what I went through, I don't want to fight the same thing mm -hmm. I went through. Mm -hmm. I want them to do better. Right. Okay. And I like to see people do better. Mm -hmm. I want like to see people when they fail, I mean, help them make them up. Well, you know, I, I called you up and I said, Sam, you got to do an interview. Yes, you're here. Let, let's talk some boxing, man. Who's your favorite fighter of all time? Oh, man, that's kind of hard. It ain't hard for me. It's Tommy Hearns, man. Yes, that's one of my big... I got, I got, I got a yeah, top name, five list. Name five. Let's go through your top five. Okay. I'm Ali. Tommy Hearns. I love Ali. Uh, what do you love about Ali? Oh, man. Just, that guy just... Oh, wow. Just everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, my third one is Canel Whitaker. Sweet Bay. Oh, man. Great, uh, great, great fight. Yes. My fourth one is... Can't leave the guy out. Shit, right. Robinson Rolando. 
I take both of them, good and lobster. That's my father right there. Man, that's, you named some great ones. Now let's talk about the modern day fighters. And you know we just interviewed Jeremy Quavis, so. I like him. <laughs> I like that guy. Actually, I went to a gym, Tony Jim fight years back, and I seen a kid in there. Oh, we saw Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy, so. And I'm sitting back watching him. I'm like, that kid, that kid can punch, and, he, and he's still <laughs> very skillful. I said, he's gonna be something. Mm -hmm. So, I'm looking at TV, watching his fights and all that, watching a couple uh, watch this, uh, this future come on. I'm looking like, he's gonna be a tough task. Mm -hmm. Like, people are watching from him. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, great kid, got all the skills. Mm -hmm. First thing I do is see your training, and that's what he does. Right. Very that's good doing it. That's good. Who else do you like with proper today's fighters? Uh, Danny. I like Danny Garcia. Danny got it. Your prediction for Danny versus Sean Porter. That's going to be a good fight. It's a tough fight. Very tough fight. Danny's got to bite down mm -hmm. because Porter's coming. Mm -hmm. Saying, and Danny always in good shape, but he's got to be this, this be good shape. That's what I say. You know, I, I've never bet against Danny. Me, I never bet against him, but it's tough. It's, it's tough. tough. It's tough. Oh, it's tough Porter's right? tough. Very tough. But I just see Porter. I, I just see Danny just biting down. And, and catching Porter with something when he's running in. It's not going to be the hook. It's going to be double cut. Man. If that happens, you're going to... Come in on this, he's going to hit him with air. And then this, see, everybody around him, no, then he got this right here, then he got the right hand too. What's he saying now? You gave it away. Now Porter's going to be watching this video. Yeah. And, and oh, man. training for the other I, I, I ain't want to say it like that. that. Oh, I gave it up. Danny up there with Angel working on uppercut. Oh, and man. Now, now Porter knows. Hey, Danny, don't, Danny go, don't come beat me up, Danny. I don't want no problem. Now you give it away. Now Porter's going to be looking for the uppercut. Oh, man. Sam. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Who else do you like? Uh, I like all the fully fighters. I like Jesse Hart. Uh, you know, that's my man. Yes. Jesse has never had a feeling out around the bell rings. Jesse tried to send you the Undertaker. Oh, you already know. <laughs> I like all my fully fighters. I like all of them. I mean, like I said, I'm taking you back, like I said. I like, I don't like, I love every fighter that they like online. That right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because for me to be a trainer, I sit back and watch. Mm -hmm. We're not in that four corner ring with them. We might say, do this, do that. But they coach so fast. That's for you said you got it. You don't got it. They in here. They put life online, man. You got to respect them. Mm -hmm. Respect the fighter, man. Mm -hmm. They fight to get the arms respect from let, let me ask this since you're around young people. What's the greatest lesson you've learned in life as a young person that you can impart to the younger generation? Man, just, just be humble. Be mindful, man. Just, mm -hmm. Man, it's like doing good, man. It's, it, it all pays off. Saying bad things is only lead you to two things, man. That graveyard the jail yard. I was in one of them. I ain't another one yet, and I ain't planning on being there soon. Sam, you know I'm a writer, and I'm like a guy, a trash man. I'm like the Fred Sanford of literature. Yes. I go around and I pick up scraps of knowledge and quotes. Yes. But uh, you just gave me one. I'm gonna be using it. You said from the graveyard to the, the jail yard. The graveyard to the jail yard. I'm taking notes on that one. I got to write that down. Yes. I'm going to be quoting that. Ash Jail knows. yard to the graveyard. And you know who told me that? Who? My mom. Man. Yeah. She told me that when I was trying to say, listen, you out here in these streets playing around, if you're two guards, you're going to be in. You mean that jail yard and graveyard? What about the school yard? Oh, I like the school yard. I love the school yard. Remember <laughs> three days? That's three. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good, man. Um, yeah, man. It, it's very good. So let, let's talk. August 11th. Great fights. Hard and promotion. Great fights. Oh, Sam, man. I see you at all the fights. Yes, I, I'll be there. I think I got a whole bunch of pictures of you at the fight. Yes, I'll be there. What do you think of that about that hard and promotion? Oh, that, that card is. It's, they got uh, Derek Webster on it. Derek Webster. Uh, Your man outlaw. Uh, Derek outlaw. outlaw. Jer Jeremy. Jeremy. Oh uh, man. Oh, I'm gonna be there. It's exciting. It's gonna be fire. Uh, fireworks. Talk to me about your man, Eric Outlaw Hunter. Arguably one of the most talented guys coming out of Philly. He humbled down a lot. Okay. I respect that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes to be the loudest guy in the room, the quiet guy in the room, get well respected when it's loud. Right. So sometimes you just got to humble out mm -hmm. and change people from around you. Right. And it make you a better person. Mm -hmm. Some people that are around you, they only around you for you. Not this all you this they around for them, not right. you. I'm right. quoting that back. Because they see that you home you fire, you coming up, you getting money, everybody your friend. 
Oh, that's my man. Good fighter, good fighter. No, it ain't that. Mm-hmm. But soon they got to lose their fight, where you going to be at? Right. You're going to be, you, you gonna be in the back side, the back seat of the car. You can do the side in the front. Mm-hmm. I have another question, Sam. I realize this, man. You grew up around a lot of Jamaicans. I know you speak a little Jamaican. Yes. So, someone who I know is part of that Jamaican, where you come from? Uh, I know a couple people from Keystone. <laughs> uh, that's about it, for real. I mean, uh, for me being around, they're very good people, too. Mm-hmm. You know I'm saying? Like, I know why I want myself down around certain people. Mm-hmm. Like, it ain't, see, I came from the name, I came from the hood. Okay. The hood, it ain't, it ain't about the hood. You take everything out. Sometimes leave the hood out, man. Mm-hmm. You gotta go explore, see stuff different, man. Get around people, you act different. Well, Sam, for a minute, I thought you were Jamaican, man. We talking to Sam go, well, everything Chris King. Yeah, everything Chris King. Hey, so, so I'm sitting up there, I'm going to watch some of us come from Jamaica, some part. Kingston, yeah, Taylor, yeah, y'all. Yeah, and I was younger, people thought I was Jamaican. No, I thought at first that, yeah. you know, the way we're talking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know a little bit of Hispanic, too. So I mean, Spanish. See, so you, man, we can go. Everything Dabby and style. We'll be in Tranquilo. Well, when Jeremy won the championship, man, we're going to fall hard over Tony and old San Juan. Oh, yeah. And then we roll in the Kingston oh, down Kingston. to the garden. Hey, yeah. yeah. You know, we going yeah. everywhere. So, Tony, Tony, good guy, too. Tony, good guy. Yeah, Tony, yeah, good guy, man. But I wish I came to the gym. I, like, last on to him. And because I seen him work with Jeremy. Coach right up on him. Everything he's selling to him, he's just doing. Okay. That's, that plays a major part of a training to the fighter. You got to be there. Momentarily, with the every step. That's okay. what counts. Makes your fighter a real fighter. That's what okay. counts. I see Spike Tony over there gave us a two minute signal about two minutes and five seconds ago. But um, anything else you want to tell people, Sam, how they can reach you? I know I'll follow you on Instagram. Yes. Every day I get up, I get a cup of coffee, and I check in to see what Sam, how with the hands, yes. which video you posted. On Facebook, you reach me at Samuel Davis. Samuel Davis. And on Instagram, you meet me at Hot Hands. That should reach me at. Okay. And the gym I'm training at is James Swim Morning Gym. It's at 750 Brooklyn Street. Okay. Well, folks, there you have it. We're wrapping up with Sam on Instagram, Hot with the Hands. Want to feel you dressed? Train a lot of people like this. Like Sam has said, for young people, in the deep type of yards, in the yard, in the yard, or the graveyard. And have a lot of knowledge. Go to the gym. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. And I will say that I just want to love to the Jamaican All the time. All the time. All the time. All the All the time. All the time.